This diaper from Tykables provided several positive surprises in my test. Let's take a look at what these are in this video, including, of course, the results of its everyday absorbency. Tykables uses a modern printed design for the packaging. One side is colorful, the other describes the features of the diaper including a small instruction for changing. However, everything is in English, as the company is based in the USA. This also applies to the packs sold in Germany and other countries. Practical. The printed film is transparent at the front so that you can see the diapers inside. The green area has ant lines, but you can't open it there, as I first thought. Instead, it is perforated at the top and can at least be opened there without scissors. I think that makes a lot of sense. It's a bit unusual at first because only a few packs can be opened by themselves. It's not just annoying to have to get extra scissors or a knife. You have to be very careful and run the risk of accidentally damaging one of the diapers. Even a small hole can lead to leakage. Tykable seems to know that pressing hard into the pack is annoying. That's why you pull out a loose diaper at the beginning, which doesn't need to be shaped. The waddler already feels soft when folded up. On the adhesive surface is the motif which alternately shows one of four different designs. Not every diaper offers several motifs in the same pack, but there are a few. One detail sets this one apart from them. Instead of four completely separate motifs, there are three and on the fourth diaper, these three are shown together. Have you ever seen anything like this? Feel free to write it in the comments, this is the first time I've seen it in this style. It is therefore particularly easy for me to choose a diaper for the archive, it will be the one with all the motifs. Tykable stays true to itself with the adhesive and uses Velcro. The leakage protection on the inside is loose and doesn't stick to the sides. It is also high enough to further increase the suction power with inserts. The results of the everyday test will show whether this is necessary. In addition to the motif on the front of the adhesive surface, there is a second larger one on the back of the bottom. In between, the white diaper is printed with green grass. This has a special function. It dissolves when you wet yourself, a wetness indicator. I think it's very creative and nicely integrated into the design. I criticized this on the Abu Tiny Tails, for example. It's a nice, thick diaper with a high absorption volume. But the wetness indicator is a simple line, like on medical diapers, and looks like a foreign object. In my opinion, Tykables has solved this much better. The price for a pack of 10 is currently €28.90. You just have to move the decimal point and you get €2.89 per individual diaper, which is still just below the average. This seems to have become a kind of standard price for this manufacturer, 6 out of 9 diapers currently have the same price. These include, for example, the Puppers or Unicorn, which I have also already tried. What about the suction power of the Waddler? Is it worth it? Instead of theoretical laboratory tests, I tried it out in everyday life by wearing it until it leaks. The fresh diaper weighs 240 grams, making it one of the heaviest or thickest diapers. There is a neck and neck race in this area, with the LNGU Dragoons, for example, just 1 gram heavier. With 8 grams more weight, the Waddler is not far behind in first place. Even if it wasn't enough, its fluid intake is still impressive. With a total weight of almost 2.4 kilograms, it lands in fourth place among the diapers that can hold the most at the time of testing. Here, too, the gap is manageable, with the first place winner weighing in at around 2.6 kilograms. In the picture you can see how the wetness indicator has completely disappeared because the diaper was so soaked. At the bottom left, diagonally above the 2 on the scale, you can still see a slight green from one of the blades of grass. This is less pronounced at the beginning, the fuller it gets, the less of it remains. Tykables has done a good job here. Other diapers have already delivered a similarly convincing result. The differences are minimal and can sometimes be within the range of the measurement tolerance. Of course, this only applies to the same versions. Older diapers are usually thinner and therefore have a lower absorption capacity. In addition to the absorbency, there was something else that really impressed me about this diaper, the film. Tykables is known for using a high-quality, soft film as the outer material. They do this so well that I have never had to criticize the film on any of the diapers I have tested so far. With the Waddler, however, it feels like they have outdone themselves. It is a little softer and more comfortable than the Puppers, for example. Conversely, this does not mean that the other Tykables diapers are uncomfortable in comparison, on the contrary. I also still like wearing the diaper with the dog motifs.
It's more a difference in the details, like a piece of cake with a cherry on top. The cake would be good even without the fruit and you would eat it without hesitation. The cherry makes it that little bit better than it already is. The basic question can be asked about the wetness indicator. Does an ABDL need this? Most people probably don't, because they either feel it themselves. Or you deliberately want to do a diaper check by hand instead of looking at the diaper. I wouldn't reject an otherwise good diaper because he's missing. But if it's there, I personally like to take it with me. But then, in my opinion, it should be integrated into the design. Tykables has done this best with the newer diapers so far. The aforementioned puppers is another example, where the hydrants disappear when wet to match the print. In the context of the dog fire department, this is even doubly fitting because they use water to put out fires. With designers like this, I'm excited to see what new motifs will be introduced in the future. Personally, the diaper has convinced me and I will continue to wear it in everyday life. What do you think? Who writes a comment here on YouTube? I'm looking forward to it and don't forget, stay dry until the next video.